I think you, you've seen uh, one impact already is that the, the president is not able to campaign the way that he would like uh, with, uh, even in, in the era of, of COVID-19 and the restrictions that are in place, um, you know, he's been able to have rallies, including here in Michigan, in, in places like Freeland, uh, in airport hangars, uh, which have come under some criticism, but he's been able to do them with thousands of people. Uh, and which, and, and that's even different than, than he would like. He's used to filling arenas with 15, 20, 30,000 people. He can't do those. Uh, and he won't even be able to do the, the public events uh, for the next uh, at least 10 days or so. So, and the campaign's already announced that, right? They've said that we're, they're gonna move all of their events that were planned to uh, virtual events. Uh, the vice president even uh, stood in for uh, for the president a couple days ago, I think maybe over the weekend, at um, at an event, and I think that'll continue. Uh, I, I think that we need to see a, a little bit more time elapse before we we can say with any certainty how the state of the race has changed, uh, if at all. And I think that it'll be even it'll be difficult to separate the effects of say you know if there is a shift, was it the debate was it the president's positive test uh hard to, to isolate one of those effects